Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Taylor and this is Tay's Toys. In today's video, I have some not so blind boxes to unbox for you all. Um, I have this little haul that I got from a few different um, online stores. I'll have their uh, information in the description. Um, a few of these series I have a few figures from already and wanted to pick out my remaining faves and um, some of them I don't have uh, any figures from. Um, so to start off with, we have Pucky's Rabbit Cafe. Um, this is a series that I have several figures from already. Um, I got them from a local Pop Mart vending machine. Um, and so I just want to pick up a, another cute figure that I missed out on from that haul. Next up, we have the Pop Mart's 2023 uh, New Year, Year of the Rabbit. Um, series. This one's really cool because it has a lot of Pop Mart's characters on here, um, which I think is really cool. And I was really surprised that I was able to pick out this particular figure on the aftermarket um, because it was one of the most uh, popular in the series. Next up, we have uh, Skull Panda's Mayor of Animals. Um, I th think I have just one figure from this series. This whole series is really beautiful and I would love to get more from it uh, and excited to unbox this one. Last but not least, uh, we have Finding Unicorn's World of Card series, which um, like the Year of the Rabbit series, this one also includes several uh, IPs from Finding Unicorn's uh, different artists, which is really cool. I'm not like super into cards, like as a theme, uh, casually, I think it's cool, but I think these designs are really, really cute. Um, and I was surprised that I ended up getting so many figures from this series, but here we are. Um, I have this box, of course, and I also have these little blind box mini burritos. Um, more of the series is packed up in, in this paper, I suppose. So. Let's get into it, shall we? I think I want to start off with Pucky Rabbit Cafe, since I already have so many from this series. Um, I'm excited to get to it, and it's maybe the least exciting for me, though, since I already have so many from it. So here are the different figures that you can get in this series. Like I said, I have several of these already. I have the Poco Barista, the Coffee Bean, the cookie, the strawberry pancake, and the rabbit cafe. Um, there's a few others on here that I'm really interested in, but I'm super excited to show you what I got in this one. We have the uh, Pucky Cafe menu. <laughs> I love the bunny details in this series, and I especially love this pink Pucky bunny holding the menu. I think it's so cute. <sighs> Precious. <laughs> there's a few other, um, there's like the Pucky Waitress that has pink hair, which I think is cute. And I think there's another sort of bunny, well, I guess the Rabbit Cafe. There's lots of bunnies off in here. Um, <laughs> I really wanted to add the uh, Rabbit Waitress and the cafe menu. Um, so I wasn't able to get the waitress on this haul, but really happy I got the cafe menu. Um, maybe in another video we'll get the wait waitress. Um, anywho, really excited that we got this one. Um, love the details on this. I love the little black bunny cap. Um, little bow on the back of Pucky. Um, where the menu is attached. Super cute. I, I also saw that they made like an, uh, what's it called? Like an AirPod um, holder that was in the shape of this character's head and I was extremely tempted to get it. Uh, it looked really, really cute. Um, so yeah, I'm really glad to add this to my little Pucky Rabbit Cafe collection. It will be super cute. Here is the illustration card. 
Very cute. I love this design. So next up we have the Pop Mart New Year Blind Box series. There's a lot of really um, nice designs that you could get from this. I'm, I would really like to get the Best of Luck, the Pucky, uh, the Moon Shadow from Skull Panda. You know, Double Happiness from Bunny is pretty cute too. And Good News Coming from Instinct Toys. Those are favorites. And you know, I'm not really a big fan of Molly, but Molly's figure for this, the Meteoric Rise, is pretty cute as well. So I did get one of the ones I mentioned uh, from this in today's little haul. Um, but who would you want from this series? There's a lot of characters that I don't even recognize that are featured on this, so... I feel like these boxes are designed to be easy to open, but I, like, always rip them. Okay, here is the bag. Well, there we go. <laughs> Here's the bag. Pretty nice. Happy Chinese New Year. Year of the Rabbit. And they put um, a little 3, 2, 1 countdown on the bottom. Just like a countdown for the new year, but also like, you know, everybody who unboxes blind box figures on YouTube does their little countdowns before they do the reveal. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I really didn't think it'd be this easy to get this one on the aftermarket. It's, I mean, this is the all-star from the series. We got the Skull Panda figure. <laughs> It's so beautiful, like so detailed. <sighs> like, yes, take it all in from the front, but then even in the back, bam, what? Y'all didn't have to do that. Y'all did not have to do that. You got little rabbits in the back, like this beautiful carved out detail. <sighs> Skull Panda is chilling on some clouds with a um, little black and white rabbit. His little, um, looks like cotton tails, like little bunny tails for Skull Pandas. Y'all, what are these? Headphones, headballs, you know, these little details. <laughs> and I love the eyebrows and the hair. The metallic vinyl is really nice, super cute. It would have been nice if the bunnies or the clouds or both were flocked. Um, but this figure is like really giving it to you with all the details already, so not too mad. Just would have been a nice detail. Um, like if these are flocked, that would have been super nice. This is so beautiful. I love the purple eyes. Or purple eye. <laughs> the makeup on the lips and the, the face is really pretty. Super cute. Really, really like this. Yeah, that's so special. The detail on the back of the head is interesting. The hair, ugh, really beautiful. So here is the Moon Shadow illustration card. Pretty cool, pretty snazzy. So next up we have uh, another Skull Panda, Mayor of the Animals. I already have the Penguin. Um, which is really cool, but wasn't like a favorite of mine. Um, but when I got it, I, I really liked it. Um, but I think the blue Morpho, um, the blue butterfly, the cat figure, the unicorn, the moth, the fox, the rabbit, all bops. Um, even the rat is pretty, pretty interesting design wise. Um, wouldn't be like a first for me, but I'd be chill with that. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm really excited for this one. So we got the rabbit, and we just unboxed another rabbit, Skull Panda, and I was talking about how I wish it was flocked. This one is flocked. Like, check out all that flocking. It's really, really nice. The whole headpiece and 
the diaper. It looks like a diaper, y'all. And the bunny tail is flocked. Really, really cute. I love the details on the hands and the feet with the paws and the little claws and the crosses and the ribbon. Really, really nice. And they even included toe beans. Super, super cute. I love the red eyes and the black hair. And this rabbit mask is super cool. So the here's the rabbit mask. And it also came with this little tiny, tiny peck thing. Uh, but it looks like it goes in one of the rabbit's ears. Like so. Not too sure what that's about. But it's cute. The rabbit's eyes are, the mask eyes are really nice. Yeah, super cute. Love this. Very spooky, very beautiful. Yeah, I can't get over this. I love the sculpt on the rabbit mask. The ears are exquisite. I love the different types of materials used on this figure. The flocking is beautiful. I'm obsessed. Yeah, if they had used this type of flocking that they, uh, if they used this type of flocking on the moon shadow from the new year, I mean, that would have popped off. I'm just saying. Imagine that cloud or the little balls on the side of the head being flocked or the bunnies, maybe even just the bunnies I would have been okay with. Anywho, those are our two bunnies from Skullpanda. And here is the tiniest little illustration card for the rabbit. So next we have uh, several figures from the Finding Unicorn World of Card series. I mean, a lot of the designs are really cute. Um, and you're about to find out who I got. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a lot of good options on this. I'm not gonna spoil who I got since I got so many. If I talk about who I want, it's basically gonna be what I'm about to show you. <laughs> um, so let's just get right into it. So the first figure we have is Mr. Rich from Agan. Um, I really like Agan as an artist. I like their visual arts as well as the different um, collaborations they do with <clears throat> Finding Unicorn for their figures. I love the trippy eyeballs and just the different animal designs they come up with. Really psychedelic vibes. And this is super cute. I think this comes with an accessory. Yeah, so here is Mr. Rich's little scepter. Cute little rabbit scepter that goes in his hand. Success. So cute. I love his little crown, his little sash and the shoes with a little pom-pom on the toes. Yeah, normally I don't go for this type of like color palette, these more darker tones, um, but I really like this design a lot. And it'll be really nice uh, to have the king of the set with this series that I just bought. Yeah, the scepter is super cute. Love him. Here is Mr. Rich's illustration card. <laughs> Looks kind of derpy. Next up, we have our little mini burritos. Number one. Oh, cute. I forgot I even got this because I thought all of these were from the series um, that I just unboxed, the card series. But this is a uh, something totally different. So I actually got a figure from Pucky's Animal Tea Party. This is Mr. Moose, I believe. Super, super cute. I really like Pucky, um, and I thought I would like the series as a whole a lot more than I actually do. Um, and this is, I mean, this figure and a couple of others is why I do like it so much. So I was glad I was able to get my hands on this one. I love, I just love everything about this design. I love the colors, the costume, the tea theme, the little antlers, very, very cute. 
You look so prim and proper. Check out that neck ruffle. Pucky's always coming through with a good neck ruffle. A good old fashioned bib. This hat is so fancy. His little antlers and his little gloves. Really, really cute. Here is Mr. Moose illustration card. Very dapper, dapper lad. Well, I mean, let's see who else we get because at this point it could be anything. I don't remember what I buy. Okay, so next up we have a figure from an artist that I'm really interested in. I want to get a whole case of a certain series um, and just haven't done it, uh, but I did end up getting an IP from this artist. Uh, this is Spade Bunny um, from the big old ear collection. <laughs> I cannot remember what this character or artist is even called and I feel so bad. Um, I'll have it up on the on the what it do on this I'll, <laughs> I'll have it up on the screen for you um, but so cute I love the bunny design clearly this hall is very bunny themed um, super cute I love the chunky paws um, I like the design of the face a lot I like the simple eyes and the big old ears um, even though I've heard some people online say they're not into the giant ears I think it it makes it special and unique uh, and actually look really cute. I really like the neck ruffles a lot and the three-eyed rabbit mask is super cute. The little claw details on the paws um, is also a nice, a nice touch. Super, super cute. I'm really happy with this. Okay, so last figure from the haul. This is our biggest um, blind box burrito. So this is Bunny Magic from the same artist. Super cute. <laughs> I really, really like this one. Um, you can see it's holding a rabbit behind its back. It has a magic hat um, that pulls a bunny out of. I love this sort of like purple cow print on the bunny mask. And it has different colored eyes, red and blue. Really like the hair color and overall um, color palette for this figure. I think it's really cute. And I like that these two figures, um, one is sitting and one is standing, to give a little bit of um, difference. Uh, <laughs> I like the height difference. I like the, the different compositions that the figures have and it adds some visual interest when they're together. Um, again, sporting a fashion bib or a neck ruffle, if you will. Um, the shorts are really cute. The bunny is really cute. It's got a little spade on its belly and has a matching fashion bib. Very cute. We love that. Um, and I forgot to show you the illustration card for the last one. So I will show you both of them together. Bunny Magic and um, Spade Bunny. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> Super cute. Um, yeah, very animal themed very rabbit themed extremely rabbit themed i don't know how i didn't think of that going into this like all but one is rabbit themed and that one would be um the moose pucky from the animal tea party series and like literally everything else is rabbits we have mr rich and the two bunnies i just showed you spade bunny and bunny magic and then we have the Moon Shadow Skull Panda, Fairy Bunny, Cafe Pucky Menu Board, Bunny, and then the Mayor of Animal um, Rabbit Figure, Bunny. Hello. Um, all right, great. I found a nice <laughs> title and theme for this video. Um, super cute. What did you think? <laughs> what was your favorite figure from this haul? I don't even know. These are all so good. Um, ooh. I think it might have to be the Mayor of Animals, the rabbit figure. The flocking and color is so good on this. The bunny mask is really just so elegant and beautiful. Um, 
The details are really good. But also the cafe pucky, like that's so, that's like dummy cute. <laughs> They're all good. I hope you like them. I enjoyed today's video. Um, if you liked today's video, please leave me a like, give me a comment down below, say hey, say what you thought, say what you liked. Um, comment, like, subscribe, all of those things. Um, I have more videos, so you should go to my channel and subscribe and watch them. That'd be really cool. Um, until the next one, bye. <laughs>